Talking last week, uh, you had mentioned that moment when you and Tommy Chong were you're on the set of that '70s show, and uh, yeah. Tommy Chong was was offering up some hospitality, which you thought, right? Oh, what a nice guy to hang out with! What a what a generous, kind human well, being. No, but it was more than that. Even it's like um, it's <laughs> the only thing I can kind of relate it to is if Rodney said. Hey, you want to do some blow, kid? You're going to do it because it's Rodney, you know? So when Tommy Chong, who is a hero, you know, I used to, we'd drive to Canada to buy high content, high alcohol beer. And we would listen to Tommy's and Cheech and Chong's cassettes on a little cassette player because the car was a piece of shit station wagon, Oldsmobile with no stereo besides the name radio. So we'd bring this little cassette player with big fucking batteries in it so we could listen to Hey man, good thing you didn't step in it. You know, we would just listen to Cheech and Chong on the way up there. So cut to now I'm doing a TV show. It's it's you know, I'm 14 when I'm listening to him. Now I'm 35. It's like holy shit, this guy's here on the show. He's an icon of mine, and he's an icon of the comedy world, no matter what. And he was I don't think people can understand how big they were in the 70s. So I'm going into film, he's there to film. We're both there to do the show. And he said, hey, do you want a hit of this? And I'm like, it's Tommy Chong. Of course, I'm going to have a hit of Tommy, his Swede. But I knew it was good. I knew it had to be good. But in my mind, I didn't know how good. And so I hit it three times, three times. And I was like, wow, that was cool. So you go, wow, I got high with Tommy. But then by the time I got in there and got in my chair and there's, you know, the quad split, I'm just fucked up, like beyond, I can't think, I can't, I'm not like paying attention. And I remember the, the co-exec was there and she's like, what's wrong with you? And I go, I've made a terrible mistake because I, I smoked pot with Tommy. And she's like, why would you do that? I go, I didn't smoke a lot but I don't know at all what I'm doing and I need you to stay with me because none of it makes sense. And it didn't. And I was somewhere else. And probably by about the third scene, I got my shit together and I was like, yeah, I need water or something to stop this. And, um, you know, the director's like, are we moving on? And I don't know what to say because I haven't seen, I haven't watched the quad and I would turn to uh, Linda and go, are we? She goes, we're moving on. <laughs> because I was like, I, I don't know what's happening. And I didn't do that. I never did that. I never would, you know, do opiates or drink whiskey or do anything on a show night. No matter how irresponsible I was, I wasn't that irresponsible. So that was literally a mistake, you know. And um, a reasonable professional has got to draw the line someplace. Yeah, but Tommy's weed, and by the way, this is 2000, whatever, 2002. Mm. Tommy, you know, weed is not really even come back into vogue. You know, it's still out there. You can get it anywhere. But you couldn't get the weed Tommy had. You know, Tommy's weed, of course, it's world class. It's like, it's like Fidel Castro giving you a Cuban. Okay, that's going to be a good fucking Cuban, probably. So, I wait, can I swear? Yeah, well, <laughs> the time, the time to ask, to ask yeah, um, you got to ask that going in. Of course you can, but that's usually a question yeah. at the top of the show. All right. But no, that's so, yeah, Tom, you know, I love Tommy. Tommy is like the greatest guy, the coolest guy, the godfather of weed, um, you know, which I love. I, I don't smoke weed anymore. I don't do anything anymore. But the truth is, and the reason weed to me is probably one of the most important things that's happened in America in the last 15 years 
is because when you have a hundred people a day dying of opiates, for God's sakes, legalize weed. Nobody ODs on weed. You know, you might get in a car accident, but you'll be going six miles an hour. <laughs> so. So this is where you work, huh? Yeah, that's what they say. Hey, won't you get in trouble if the boss shows up? Oh no, it's the boss here? <laughs> Hey, wait, I'm the boss. <laughs> Who else say you're very much missed in talking to you, man. I am oh, it's so thanks. good to see you. It That's is good to see you too, man. Yeah, I don't. I, the world is a much better place when Mark Brazil is around, man, without a oh, doubt. I, I appreciate it. Tell the family I love them. I will, man. We love you back. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, hill. All Masters. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Rated R.